Hey, here's a quick look at how I set up this lip syncing uh, animation in Rive. So um, on this artboard, I've got multiple timelines where I have my mouth shape keyed into different uh, letter sounds. And uh, I referenced a chart that I found. Um, so I'm setting up all these different mouth shapes. Um, to be visible and, um, and keying them on each of the layers. And so, and then I just turn that off. Uh, I don't need it. And then in the state machine, um, using the any state, so when it plays, um, it first goes to the neutral timeline and then each of these uh, uses a different number value to transition to a different mouth shape. So that's the ah, D, E, F, L, M, and some of these uh, you can use for other mouth shapes and sounds as well. So then I have that set up as a nested artboard on my character. So um, there, I've got the face all rigged up and then the mouth is here as a nested artboard. And I have the, um, the uh, input from the nested artboard visible here. And so you'll see when I play this, it's going to, um, actually, when I take, I'll take that off. When I hit play, it'll do uh, nothing because that's on zero. But here you can see as I change the mouth shape, it's going to actually uh, change what's happening there. And so since this is on the nested artboard, I can key that on my timeline here. So I have this uh, timeline, which is actually keying each of the different mouth shapes and they're all using the hold interpolation so there's no transition between them because otherwise you know in this case it would go from five to seven it would actually transition through six in order to get to seven which wouldn't make any sense so it's going to hold on each mouth shape and so i also have an audio event set up here and I uh, used Soundly's voice designer to type in a phrase and then export it and bring it into Rive. And then if I hit play, it will play that audio and um, instead of play it through a couple of times and pick the right mouth shapes and adjust the timing until it seemed like it lined up. So this is what it looks like. I'm doing a lip sync test. How's it look? So, and then before that I had done one, uh, I had some recordings of my son saying uh, some phrases. So I used Great choice. To start with, um, those are my first couple tests. Beep, beep. And so uh, I wanted to use a couple more mouth shapes for this one, but that's how it's set up. And then um, I just have that yeah, set up in the state machine itself. And uh, fortunately with Rive's uh, render, cloud render, I was able to just export this timeline with the sound and um, yeah, exports the sound and the animation together. So you get a nice animated character video. This could work really well though at uh, runtime if you were able to sync it up with um, another animation because if you don't have it set up on a timeline but you do have a way to control this input at runtime, you can um, have it jump to whichever mouth shape is appropriate for you know your character that's speaking. So that makes it really flexible and um, because it's just you know a couple of keyframes for each mouth shape and it's transitioning to each one, the file size is super light. So that's how it works.